Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So here we have a set D, which is a subset of complex numbers. We have to represent it on a complex plane. So D is a collection of all complex numbers, which will satisfy that condition. Getting they have mentioned some condition there, mod Z minus Z naught is equal to mod Z plus Z naught bar. Z naught bar means complex conjugate. See here Z naught is a fixed complex number, just like two plus three I. But they have added one condition that is real part of Z naught is non-zero. They have added that condition. So we will start with that condition and we will try to find the value of Z. So let us start. We have what we have mod Z minus Z naught is equal to mod Z plus Z naught bar, right? So generally what we do, we replace Z by X plus I Y. We know that any complex number can be expressed in three different ways, Cartesian form, polar form and exponential form. So I'm going to take the help of Cartesian form. I'm going to replace Z by X plus I Y. Let us do. Let me mention here, let Z is equal to X plus I Y and Z naught that is a fixed complex number. So let us denote it by X naught plus I Y naught where I should mention the condition real part of Z naught dimension, which is nothing but X naught here, which is non zero getting. So real part of Z naught is non zero. This is the information. So let us put these values in this condition. Therefore, mod, what is our Z? X plus I Y, Z naught, X naught plus I Y naught. Okay, this is equal to Z x plus i y plus z naught bar that means it's complex conjugate it will be x naught minus i y naught okay so therefore mod x plus i y you know that if there is minus sign outside uh, we change the signs right so uh, shall i collect real part so x and x naught are real numbers real part uh, and this i y minus i y naught imaginary part i will take i common so y minus y naught right uh, what can i do here real part is x minus x naught plus i imaginary part is y minus y naught let me this copy paste this right hand side okay plus i y minus y naught right so we have this space let us use okay so we are familiar with the definition of mod square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. Uh, let us do. So therefore, square root of square of real part, which is x minus x naught square plus square of imaginary part y minus y naught square, which is equal to square root of. In the right hand side, this is real part. This is imaginary part. It's square plus square of this one okay i do not like square roots okay so to remove square roots i will take square of both sides so i am taking square of both sides so x minus x naught square plus y minus y naught square is equal to x plus x naught square plus y minus y naught square tell me now what can we cancel yes this term I can cancel from both sides since same term we have we cannot cancel these two terms because we have a minus sign here and we have a plus sign here. So now the remaining part is x minus x naught square and the remaining part is x plus x naught square. We will expand those brackets using a plus b bracket square formula and a minus b bracket square formula. So we will have x square minus 2x x naught plus x naught square here I will expand this bracket x square plus 2 x x naught plus x naught square now tell me what can we cancel uh, we can cancel x square x square from both sides x naught square from both sides so the remaining part is minus 2 x x naught on that side 2 x x naught let us shift this term to that side so 0 is equal to 2 x x naught plus 2 x x naught that means 4x x naught right 
सो देर फोर फोर एक्स एक्स नॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सी बेसिकली फोर इज कॉन्स्टंट एक्स नॉट इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टंट सिंस इट इज अ रियल पार्ट ऑफ जेड नॉट विच इज अ कॉन्स्टंट एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज रियल पार्ट ऑफ जेड नॉट इज नॉन जीरो दैट मीन्स एक्स नॉट इज नॉन जीरो सो डेफिनेटली वी कैन शिफ्ट फोर एक्स नॉट ऑन दैट साइड सो इट विल बी इन डिनोमिनेटर बट इफ यू डिवाइड जीरो बाई एनी थिंग एनी नॉन जीरो नंबर डेफिनेटली विल हैव जीरो सो देर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो बट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ वाई एक्सेस सी लेट मी मैंशन दिस इज एन इक्वेशन ऑफ इमेजनरी एक्सेस इमेजनरी एक्सेस गेटिंग so see when we talk about complex plane it is better to say imaginary axis instead of saying y axis so make a screenshot of it then i will go further so therefore we can say d is a set of all points on imaginary axis so you know that uh, in a complex plane we have this real axis and this imaginary axis so all points on this imaginary axis okay that is nothing but our set d so its equation is x is equal to 0 so this is a set we have getting so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you